Oh, hey, welcome back. Have you ever heard of a week-long yard sale? Well, there's a little town right near where I'm living in Indiana called Ireland, Indiana. Ireland, Indiana, every year has a yard sale from Wednesday to Sunday all over town. And we went every single day and we filled up our car multiple times every day. We bought so much, in fact, that the video that you're about to watch is about 30 minutes of the best boiled down footage of hours and hours of yard sale footage that I bought shopping for my toy store that I'm about to open. So stick around for some yard selling and I'll tell you what I'm doing with some of the stuff that I bought in terms of what it's gonna be used for in my toy store. Now stick around. Six dollars, I'll take it. Six, seven, eight. Is that stuff over there for sale or? Uh, she's working on pricing. <laughs> Can I check out that video game stuff? Sure. Yeah. How much for all the Wii stuff? Uh, oh, okay. No, try, you're fine. Try to figure it out. No, yeah, I just have, I don't even know. It's all there. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many games. There's actually two consoles. Oh, is there? There's, There's about two content. consoles worth of cables. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, Abby, what did you have on yours? Oh, I did one every 60 on mine, but I also had Rock Band with it. Rock Band. Should we take 50 for it? Yes, I would do 50. Okay. I want it gone. <laughs> uh, do you have change for 100? Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Super yeah. excited. <laughs> Too. That Wii find was really timely because I didn't have any Wii controllers on me. Uh, and now that I have a few, I've been 3D printing some controller stands for them, like I did back during COVID times, a few of you will remember. But since then, I haven't had a 3D printer. But now that I've got one, I've been taking controllers and printing stands for them to put on display in the store, which is super, super awesome. Now, uh, let's get back to this. Maybe I manifested the wrong thing too soon because right before we started going sales, I said, I need some tall chairs on wheels for my workbenches. First thing I found, maybe I should have said expensive video games. How much are these non-sports cars? Which ones are they? Are they the magic ones? No, they're, I'll look at the magic ones. Too. Oh, are they're those like, yours? They're like movies yeah. and such. Those are yours. Yeah. Would you take two? 12. Okay. So I just bought two big boxes full of cards. Uh, it's mostly sports cards, but it's got a bunch of vintage Pokemon and other card games mixed in, so it was a good buy. Trading card stuff is for sure what I'm the most excited about with the toy store. And buying that giant haul of cards inspired me to come back to the shop and do this. It's rough and tumble right now, but this is going to be my trading card sorting station. I'm gonna build lots of other shelves and infrastructure to very easily be able to organize it and then to bag it up for the store like I've done with these Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Magic. Uh, and eventually a little bit of sports cards, not a lot, but uh, that box of sports cards I just bought, all that right there with some magic and Pokemon taken out of it. All that stuff is gonna help me really get the ball rolling with trading card stuff for the toy store. So that was a great buy. I'm not at all educated on Build-A-Bear, but I mean, it's a Mario Build-A-Bear and I got a Pokemon too, so. TV of the sickest bag of vintage Marvel X Men action figures ever for 15 bucks. So many of them. Oh, oh wow. I kind yes. of 30 one of them. I wonder if you buy it. That'd be a bit of a deal if I buy all of them. Probably. Let me make sure they're all my sisters. Okay. No my, problem. Yeah, my mm -hmm. sister brought those. Do you have the money? Were they all a dollar? They're almost all. There's like That's two. A 50, there's right? 150 and 175 somewhere. But. Okay. You know. There's a book bag in there. I mean, I and all oh, this. Yeah. I don't know. That's a dollar piece. I mean, there's quite a bit in there. Yeah. You can make me an offer. I can. We'll go from there. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you said you clapped your jaw, Doc. I thought you looked good. Just, I don't know who that is. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, the cowgirl. Yeah. Yeah. You like, do you like Toy Story? I love Toy Story. Toy Story's my favorite. Who's your favorite Toy Story? Pretty, uh, Buzz, and uh, Jesse. It's hard to pick. I think I, I think my favorite's the aliens. No. The little three-eyed aliens. No, no. Not a fan. They're just so funny. <laughs> fall off. I got a fake gay boy and a real gay boy. I don't know. The real gay boy is probably worth money. This one's fake. That one's fake? Yes. See, there's no game cards. It's just got a cell phone battery. I don't know. I don't even know if it works. I just think it's neat. Uh, it does, that's why I think it works. You got games inside, like Mario uh, Brothers. Like installed or something. on it. And then yeah. That's the real Just give me a dollar piece, I don't care. Okay, so 20. Yeah, that'll work. No, I took it, but I have to get up. Here's the 20. There's your bag, sorry about that. Bag, bag, tote. We just struck gold. She said the mother load. And we're like three doors down from our shop. This bit of the video, not only is it a little bit confusing, but it almost becomes a saga throughout the whole week. I walk up to the yard sale, the guy's selling a lot of toys, a little bit of collectibles, stuff that's right up my alley, you know. And he notices that I'm, I'm getting a lot. I'm saying, how much is this? He's saying a dollar. How much is this? A dollar. And once I've got like $20 worth, he's like, okay, this guy's serious. He says, why don't you come on back here in my garage? I've got some more stuff I haven't even brought out yet. So I oblige. I go digging through it, find lots of stuff I want. Paid almost a dollar a piece for everything. And then he starts chatting me up about what I'm looking for. And I'm saying, you know, mostly toys, things like this. And he says, well, I've got some wrestling stuff that's not here. Would you like to see it? So I say, yes, I would love to. I'll take a look at anything you got. I think he was telling me that he has an antique mall booth that he's closing down. And uh, he just wants to get rid of everything in it. So I'm like, I'm probably your guy, man. Uh, let me see whatever you've got. And so we made a plan to go eat lunch and come back after lunch and check out what he has. And here's that. Back at this yard sale for round two. Round two is a go. I'm back. Back in. Huh. How's it going? This giant wrestling stuff I you about. Looking at this, uh, the DVDs, old DVDs in there. Okay. VHS too, cool. B yeah, VHS, that's what mainly. I know what his name I, is. I, I What's his name? Thin Emerald. I got, on, I got it on Facebook to sell hard but, okay. but for all this press, get on a magazine. Gotcha, gotcha. Go. It's like, God knows how many in there. Well, how much do you think for just everything here? <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I get it. The rest. How about 300 for all of it? 300 for all of it? I definitely want the wrestling stuff, but I don't know if I'm seeing. So make me an offer. I mean, I'm, I'm here to give you this stuff. I mean, I definitely do 200 for all of it, but we spent too much money there. That's eight. Make sure that's 80. I gotta find you another 20. I believe. It's 80. Thank you. I'll get it loaded up. All right, no, tomorrow, thanks, guys. I'm heading out yesterday tomorrow, like tomorrow, so I got more seven storage bin. Okay. I'm not sure what's all in that house. Are you still here? Yeah, I'll, I'll be here I'll tomorrow. I'll come back by in the morning. I'll be here from seven till about four o'clock. If you got if you got more, I'll dig through it. Oh my! Right, sound good, man. Come Thanks, on. guys. Yeah, See you tomorrow. It's nice to meet you, man. Me too. This is so dumb. So so dumb. So much stuff. Wrestling microphones, toys. I don't even know what's in here. I think I saw a DS. So that's cool. How'd you feel about that? That was a lot of stuff. That's crazy. They were very nice. Yeah, we filled up the car twice today, mm -hmm. and we spent all our cash. Mm -hmm. So all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. Never even seen that, Woody. Well, I want to know how much some more of those over there were. Tacked. Fifty cents each. That one just can't get them all. For that. You just hang with those. Taking the whole container. Thirty dollars. Or just these. Oh, okay. What do you think about all that? Okay. Good, good most plush I've ever bought. Well, that's not true. I bought a metric ton of plush once. I was going to say it's the most plush I ever bought. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Just wait till you see the stuff I found in those boxes from the wrestling guy. I don't know what to do. 
I don't even know what to do with it all. So in addition to that wrestling stuff that I bought from the, uh, who I just keep calling the wrestling guy, uh, I bought two tubs worth of stuff, $25 a tub, and there's no room in the car to dig through it. I, matter of fact, never really dug through it all the way until the end of this video, but like as we're stopping at other stops and putting stuff in the car and I'm leaning over and looking, I find a Nintendo DS. I go a little further and I dig over and look at it, there's some cool Hot Wheels. It's just, it feels like Christmas in the back of the car. Seven dollars full of cards. Holy cow, that's not real, but the rest of those are. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I don't care what it is, give it to me. Five dollars for all. What the heck is happening in my life? It's you, you're my lucky charm. Lauren gets fine of the day because I truly believe on this particular instance, without her, I would not have noticed these magic cards because they were wrapped up in a grocery bag. But there's a lot of them right there. It's about probably half of the cards. And the other half I've already bagged up and have upstairs in the store. Oh, but it's crazy because I've, I've actually been looking through them and scanning them individually and I've found no less so far, only about halfway through, than about five cards that are 15, 20, $25 cards. So... These yard sales are the gift that just keeps giving. Hello. Hello. Got all your card stuff. You don't have any more card or video game stuff I missed, do you? Um, I don't believe so. I think that would probably... Well, that's a lot. So that's okay. a whole bag for. That's a whole bag for. Remember what just happened? $30 for all this. The biggest bag of magic cards. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, what? You just hit it again. <laughs> we need to go play the lottery. Yeah. That's, I, the, the Pokemon cards is full of good ones. There's no way today it gets any crazier. Should I ask? Should I ask? Sure. Can I ask you? Yeah, how much was you do for all this? The whole thing. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. Is that oh all Oh my yours? gosh, or, yeah. I think that's all what mine. What sizes? Might want to make sure they all have a match. Because <laughs> this oh, was my... I, I would just go through them. Um, um, $20. Okay. Five dollars. Yeah, that's that. That's a doorway jumper. Who's the Jabai? Hundreds. No, it's probably like a couple dozen. It's hard to stress how important shoes are to this operation. And I talk about this a little bit later in the video, so stick around for that. But I want to sort of tell a quick story. Uh, at the genesis of opening this toy store, Lauren says to me, I want to do it, but how do we get the stuff? And of course, this was early on in our relationship, and I was like, well, you don't really know this about me yet, but I'm really good at finding stuff. And I think the Goodwill bins will do us really good for the clothing. I don't have a lot of high hopes for shoes. Shoes at the Goodwill outlets are not easy. Uh, any regular Goodwill outlet shopper is going to know this. Uh, but I think yard sales will do that. I think they'll bring us the shoes. And I wasn't confident when I told her this, but I sort of felt like uh, I was promising a lot when I said that. And I'm happy to say, we found out really quickly at yard sales, shoes are really gonna be easy to get for us for the store at the yard sale. And Lauren knocked it out of the park. Uh, this is actually that you just watched the second or third time that she made an offer on all the shoes. The first couple times I was uh, filming my own self, didn't get it on camera. But when I realized that she was over there bawling, I turned the camera on. So shoes, yard sales, let's go. Vintage R.L. Stein, sealed Lego. Your shoe buyer fool. <laughs> Should I ask them now? I'm in good shape. How much are the ones that aren't a dollar? $2. About 45. Yeah, we can do 45. Okay. Okay, thanks, Lauren. Thank you. I'll take, I'll take that one. Okay. Thank you so All much. Right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. How much on the blue side do you know? Or who do I ask? Yes, and how much for the side? What do I think? Yeah, for this. That's five. A little more. Yeah. I don't even know how much it's worth. I have no idea. Or five. What would you take for it? Yeah, I'd definitely do five for it. Okay. And this box is also the letters. Okay. There's uh, 18 of these dollar bags. Would you do them all for 15? Yeah. Okay, so it's 15, five, it should be 20. Thank you. Thank you very much. I bought the Pepsi sign for no reason. 
No reason at all. $15 worth of sorted Lego. I bought a desk. It's either going to go in Lauren's room and then I'm going to take the one out of hers or vice versa. I don't know. Don't know exactly. I still do not have an office desk because I keep putting tables and stuff that I buy in the workshop and not in my office. But that desk I just bought at the yard sale, 25 bucks, ended up being for my sewing machines. Uh, two sewing machines and I got a serger that I actually bought uh, out of these yard sales as well. Though I don't think I got it on camera. It's very, very useful for a toy store because things like this, you know, ripped giant squishmallows I bring down here for repairs and uh, stitch them up real quick. Nice. You think of a table? Yes. It's really hollow. Like, I guess it's probably supposed to be like a sliding bar door kind of thing, but I think it'll hold. Uh, I'll uh, attach some more wood to it, put slots in it. I think this might be the video game table. Nice. I think I'll put video games in here. This plank of wood that I just bought, you might have already caught it in the background of a couple of shots from this video, but I've turned it into a slotted uh, table where I can put video games or VHS. I'm not exactly sure if it'll be all video games or all media or split up in some way. I, I have no idea, but I knew that I needed a couple tables like this up in the toy store. Still yet to be painted bright yellow, of course, and it's a mess right now because I don't really have the utmost amount of like empty sorting table space here in the workshop, but that uh, piece of wood, perfect for a store fixture. In between the second and third day of uh, yard sales and I'm cooking on my $50 Goodwill grill, doing some burgers. Everything I own is covered in Goodwill stickers. The next day of yard selling was our earliest start. We were out at about 6.30 as to get to the seven o'clock opening yard sales a little bit early and try to be the first there. And it paid off on multiple levels because not only did we find some great stuff for the store, I found an instrument for resale that you're about to see. Found it for 40 bucks, sells for several hundred dollars. Uh, and then also I found some personal musical instruments for dirt cheap. Day three of yard sales. Yeah. You think we can fill the car again two times today? Oh, <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, we got music people. Oh, I love yeah. it. <laughs> Guy too. I'm gonna run upstairs onto the store floor real quick just to show you one of the things that I bought at that yard sale. It's a simple guitar capo, but look, that pink sticker there means that I paid a dollar for it. Uh, the price tag originally from the, the music store was like $25. And it's been a long time since I've purchased music gear like this, I guess, because I don't remember them being so expensive, but this bad boy sells on eBay for like $25, $35. Now, unfortunately, I need it really bad, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna sell it, uh, but now I know to look for them more often. Here in my office, two guitars. I bought this one at the bins the other day for like two, three bucks. I bought this one at a yard sale. I didn't even get on camera for five bucks. <sighs> yard sales are crazy, man. I can't believe that yard sale just had tons of music stuff. Yeah. I was gonna buy the little stuff, so you show you show me the sticker system. I was like, this is all a dollar. Yeah. Oh. How much? Three dollar bag of Pokemon balls. We're at yard sale number three and four before the sun comes up, but one of them is a guy bought a bunch of all that wrestling stuff from yesterday, so he said he's putting more stuff out today. Fingers crossed, but his neighbor has one first. Definitely want both of these. Build your own lightsaber. We've already been to three or four. It was okay. really dark with the first couple. Yeah, I had to use my flashlight to put some stuff out this morning. No yeah. doubt. Let me double check everything. I love your woody pig. Oh. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That was easy enough. <laughs> Let me 
minute. Thank you so much. Thank you. you didn't get anything new out? My son's got some cars, but I'm not sure what they can get with them. Okay. Hey, you, yesterday, did I give you, uh, there was a tote it, it with uh, Ronald McDonald? I haven't so, dug through those totes, okay. but I could look. What are you, what are you looking I for? I didn't really want to give you that, but I already told it to you, but I, um, it was like, it's an old uh, Ronald McDonald, um, like a puppet. Okay. And I got, and it also had a, like a Bozo the Clown. Okay. Like, like way back in the 60s or I, whatever. I haven't even touched those. If you, if you find them, that's what I mean. I'll look. I always show them to you anyway, but I didn't want to know, give you anything. Just like, no, no problem. If they're in there, you can have them back. I just, I, I haven't dug through those at all. That Ron McDonald, you see it, it's got a whistle. It's made out, of, it's old, old, old. Look in there. Do you know how much he wanted for them? Those, uh, he ain't going to, he really ain't going to care. I mean, it, it, I don't, I don't even know if they, if they worked in there. To, I mean, I'll, I'll take a gamble on it, just depending on how much. You know about more about them, like dude. Show me a price. And be happy for it. How about ten bucks? That'd be heavy happy with that. I'm gonna give it to him to go spend what he wants on. One. Three, four, five, six, seven. There's about twenty of these. Would you do fifteen for all of them? Sure. You don't have any more Pokemon stuff anywhere I'm missing, <laughs> do you? Well, not that I have out for sale. Okay. I have a bunch of sealed stuff in the basement. Oh, do you? Yeah. Not for sale, though? Probably not. $20 worth of Pokemon stuff. One of them is full. The rest are just tins. But I sell my antique balls for $5, $6 a piece, and I just gave 80 cents a piece. I bought Pokemon stuff from that guy. I said, you got any more? He said, not that's for sale. He said, I got a bunch of sealed stuff in the basement. Go get it. I should have, yeah. I'll wait. I should have pushed him on it, but also don't tell people what's in your basement. Right. I'm not breaking in, but now I probably won't put the clip on the internet so other people <laughs> We're being a little pushy and walking up to an 8 o'clock yard sale at 7.34, but feels like they're ready. They're standing outside waiting. Look at this George Clooney Batman figure for $2. Oh, Star Wars dartboard. That's pretty cool. Video games. But I really want this. I almost want it for myself. Whole bag of games and three plush for the way out. Would you believe I just found three Max Steel dolls a dollar a piece? I bought a bag full of clothing for them at the bins the other day. I want this so bad. So I totally just bought the sled and most of you are not gonna understand why, but a few of you. A few of you know why. Since we've yard sailed three, four days in a row, we're creating this situation where we're in a, a back where there's yard sales that we've been to besides yard sales we have, and it's kind of confusing. I'm losing my mind. 100% we've been here. We're losing our minds. Yeah, we're turned around. But, oh, I just bought that sled and those Max Steel dolls from yard sale we've definitely been to, and I, they were not there. I would not have missed that sled, much less those dolls. So they put more stuff out. Okay, it is time to go through everything that we bought. And I don't know how to do this other than just try to skim through most of it, but there's two tubs full of stuff that I bought from that store guy that uh, I don't know what's in there. Let's go start there. This is probably gonna be the most important part of the video. I found a Nintendo DS in here. I don't know if I ever put it back, but just now, right before I started rolling the camera, I found Paper Mario. I made a deal, $150, for the wrestling stuff, which we'll get to in a minute. But then I said, will you take 200 for all of it? And he had these two tubs. No idea what's in here. So come on close, as close as you can. And we're just gonna go through it. There's a, a porcelain vintage Charlie Chaplin. Woody, which I think I tossed him from somewhere else. If there's more GameCube stuff like this in here, I'm just gonna go nuts. And it's a pretty, uh, pretty cherry copy. No scratches. I wish I had discovered that on camera, but I'm not going to lie to you. Right before we started rolling, I was like, is that, is that, I see a GameCube case. A uh, bag of miscellaneous toys. There's just no telling what's in here. I see a camera, zip ties. Not a particularly expensive camera, but a Mortal Kombat uh, mini arcade. Ooh, ooh, how to draw Nintendo. Model kit, Jeff Gordon die cast, I guess. 
Or the, that's not the clown he's talking about. A clown. A Miss Piggy puppet. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's it. The clown. <laughs> Holy crap. Had about his Chris. What's up? Found him. What do you want for him back? Nah, you can have him. You're dirty. I think. This you go. I appreciate me. No problem. You go. Yes, I bought your Yu Gi Oh, man. You're welcome, man. Another Miss Piggy. Some PlayStation remotes. There's so much more in here, but I'm not going to go through it all one by one. PS3, Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, that's it for that one. I think this was his second one. Bag full of keychains, I bought another one. Horseshoes, a set of horseshoes. Barbie car. Some inbox Star Wars stuff. There you go. Awesome. Oh, this is actually sick. Might hang that in my office. WWF Attitude. Rock. Steve Austin. That's killer. There you go. A bag with a bag full of Ninja Turtles. Let's go. Vintage Ninja Turtles. A bag full of them. Let's check the other bag while we're down here. Pez. Is that an inbox bionicle? Nope, that's Spider Man. Mega Blocks. The Mega Block Technics ripoff. That's cool too. Little as Pet Shops. Ratchet and Clank PS4. Hot Wheel. Oh, baby. Bag of Pokemon. Box of Lego. Classic Lego too, so that's good. Alright, I think there's some more stuff in here. I don't see anything too terribly noteworthy. But. That was the blind totes that I got. Killer on the GameCube game. Super killer on the poster. Now we sort of got to run through everything else we got. I guess let's keep with this guy. Go over here to the uh, to the to the wrestling stuff. Because I don't know if I ever showed on camera when we were buying it. But this tote right here is actually ugh, heavy. And I broke it. And it's full wrestling magazines right and so between this wrestling stuff the magazines the stuff I bought from him yesterday also and then a bunch of stuff I already have including like a hundred wrestling DVDs I've got enough to set up a wrestling section right like I'm standing in front of my Lego this yellow square is gonna be the Lego section of the store I've got enough to make a whole 10 foot section wrestling stuff I don't know that I'll do that it wasn't important enough to me at the start of setting up this store to do that now that I've got all this, it feels like I need to. WWF fan, that's that's actually sick. That was a real license plate for somebody. That's gonna give you know what too? This is why it deserves its own space. That'd be not for sale, I think. Just screwed into the wall. You know what I mean? It's so sick. But come closer. There's uh just I mean look at all this. What do you think? Ten dollars a piece in the antique mall, probably? I mean it's just it's unreal. It's unreal. So that's all there. <sighs> this chair is for my downstairs workbenches, including some stuff I bought today. Inbox Pokemon stuff. Good stuff for the store. But this wrestling stuff, I I don't know enough about it to really have been too confident in that $150 price tag for this in the magazines. But just on average, there being so many pieces. I paid a dollar a piece for everything, and everything's going to sell for, for more than that. So, I really can't be mad. This looks like a vintage, second edition, all new photos and questions. Wrestling trivia game. All the VHS you can sneeze at. Whatever that means. Uh, bags full of figures, vintage and new alike. And uh, if, if, if anyone wants to see closer what's in here... Either come to the store and shop when we open in a few months, or, you know, I don't know. I need to, <laughs> I, I just can't go through it now. This video is going to be an hour long, uh, but there's a lot there. I'll maybe have to post pictures over on my Instagram. I don't know. We'll see. All right, follow me around here. Now for the rest, I think a, a, a general overview will do. Lauren absolutely kicked ass on shoes. We probably got, like, there's a giant box over there. We've probably got 20 times this much, just shoes, 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 which is funny because we knew when we were going to open this store that the bins was going to kill it for clothes, right? So you see these clothes back here, 
This is not half of what we have, but there's a bunch. But we found next to no shoes. Maybe, what would you say, Lauren? 10, 20 pairs total? Mm -hmm. So we were worried about opening with such a limited shoe supply, but I think I think we've done, we're gonna if we open with what we have now, we'll have enough to look like we have shoes. But this was just like our first yard sale run of the year, so hopefully we do this four or five more times and we're just overflowing with shoes. So there's a lot of Pokemon stuff tucked around here. Uh, the stuff I just bought today before coming back to the shop, you know, I don't even know where it is. Oh, here's some of it just these tins but I'm real giddy about this giant box and tub full of uh, Spider-Man and other superhero plush that I got you can stay right there I'm gonna climb over here when I got to this yard sale the first thing I saw was a whole bunch of Animaniacs and it seemed to be the whole set was there anytime you have a vintage whole set sort of 90 90s plush it tends to be worth getting so I, that's where I thought, okay, I'm going to buy a lot of this. But then when I realized it was all like 50 cents, I just started buying all of them. Like, tell me, this doesn't need to be a permanent installation in the store, right? I mean, literally, I think I can go ahead and do this. Of course, some kid's going to yank it down. But tell me that. <laughs> this is awesome. That might actually have to go in my workshop. Uh... I've never seen this plush in that pose. Like, I see this guy a lot, but I've never seen that, so that's pretty cool. And there's just so much more, man. I'm not going to dig through those every one. That was cool. This is not an operational trumpet, nor would it be worth putting any money to get it back to operational. Uh, but it was only a dollar, so downstairs in the workshop, I'm just hanging cool stuff from the ceiling like it's a freaking... Uh, old school Applebee's or uh, what's the breakfast place called? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Come a little closer. This whole box here, action figures. I paid a dollar a piece for any action figure like this I could find. This is all inbox Hot Wheel. And the wall over here to uh, your right is going to be like a bag wall. So I think that I'm going to put a uh, Hot Wheel, inbox Hot Wheel stuff on there as well. And so that was a good find. And there's just so much Pokemon stuff and Nintendo stuff tucked in all of this. See more action figures. I don't know. I don't want to leave anything out. You can probably see there's a lot of shelves. There's one on the floor behind you. There's a silver one over here. And then there's these three or four birdhouse-like ones back here. Anything like a dollar or so, like wooden type shelves I bought. Because there's just lots of opportunities around the store to put like rubber ducks and cool stuff high up on the wall. On, on like dead wall space so I bought a bunch of that I probably bought a couple cameras today just that happened to be cheap and with other stuff I've actually got a whole I don't think I got this on camera but this right here is a whole serger and it had a note of recently being uh, reserviced and retentioned so that will go in the sewing setup downstairs which I think I just bought a desk. I'm going to make the new sewing table at that one yard sale. Having that trailer was just invaluable because we could uh, we could bring back furniture, which was cool. I would have loved to have bought more tables. I think besides maybe Lego, Build-A-Bear plush is always nice, especially when it's Pokemon. Uh, probably one of the best things to end on here would be this. This was more for resale than for the store. Come real close so they can see this bad boy. This is an Omnicord. And I remember these seeing these on sale when I was a kid. It's a real goofy kind of like almost guitar-like instrument. Not, you can play it in your lap or you can play it. And it just makes lots of weird noises. But I just spotted it because my friend thrifts and riffs. He buys this stuff and resells it when he finds it. And I'm always like, what the heck is it? So I recognize it because of him. So we paid 40 and we'll throw it on eBay for a couple hundred, few hundred, and that'll be awesome. So that was fine of the day. And we found it first thing this morning. Comment below before we get out of here. Let me know what your favorite thing that we bought today was. Uh, for me, it has to be, oh, I can't pick. I didn't even show this off. Let me show this before we go. This is probably my favorite thing. Laura and I both saw it and we're like, we gotta buy that. We don't know why. We don't know what we're gonna use it for. Probably hang in the shop until we think of something. Uh, but that was a $5 buy and it came with boxes full of the letters. That's my favorite thing. 
You guys comment below what your favorite thing is. Make sure to subscribe before we get out of here because there's way more of this kind of content coming. Plus, we've got a little momentum on this channel that we haven't had in a while. So if you want to help us continue this momentum, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, turn your notifications on so that when these videos are posted, you can come watch them and help us keep the momentum. Until next time, peace out.